every NBA record that the Splash Brothers have ridiculously broken together. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you for spending some of your time out of your day with me today. I've got another fun topic to discuss, and I hope you like what I have to say. If you haven't done so before, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Remember to hit the like button as well. Leave a comment after you've finished watching the video, and most importantly, share the video with your friends. Heck, share it with people who aren't even your friends. Share it with everyone. Let's dive right into our topic for today. I'm going to talk about the Splash Brothers. That's right, the dynamic duo, the terrific two, the tantalizing tandem, the greatest shot-making backcourt pairing in the history of the NBA. Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson have broken countless records, but today, I'm going to talk about records they've broken together. It's almost a guarantee that anyone you ask about who they think are the two greatest shooters in the history of the NBA, Steph and Clay's names will be mentioned at the top two spots. You may find a few people who will slide Ray Allen's name between Steph and Clay, but 99.9% .9 of the time, they'll say Steph Curry at the number one spot and Clay Thompson at number two. Can you imagine how much damage the number one and number two best shooters in the history of the game could be if they played together? Luckily, that question doesn't have to be asked because you don't have to imagine this. We're fortunate to have witnessed Clay and Curry on the court at the same time during both of their primes. We often hear about historically great players that played decades ago, and we sometimes wish we were able to view them in action. But here we are, fortunate enough to see Steph and Clay play together on an NBA floor, and we don't have to hear about it from older folks. Both Clay Thompson and Stephen Curry have won the NBA three-point shooting contest. Stephen Curry has won the contest multiple times in 2015 and in 2021, and Clay Thompson won the three-point contest in 2016. Since he entered the NBA in 2011, Clay Thompson has consistently shot the ball over 40% from the three-point line for every single season. His highest three-point shooting percentage was in 2017, when he shot 44% from the three-point line. Stephen Curry has also shot the ball well over 40% in all of his NBA seasons, except 2019 when he only played five games and shot just over 20%. I don't think we should hold that against him because he was injured for pretty much the entire season. Now the reason why I told you about both these guys' shooting stats is that I want you to understand how remarkable it is for two guys on the same team to be doing so much damage from beyond the three-point line. Before we can even start to talk too much about the three-point line, I want you to also realize that these guys score inside the three-point line as well. They're both capable finishers at the rim and more than capable free throw and mid-range shooters. We tend to focus more on their three-point shooting abilities because it's extremely rare and game-changing. But I don't want you to forget that these guys are also great in so many different ways. Going back to the topic at hand, Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry have the record for the most combined three-pointers by any NBA duo. They set the record of 483 three-pointers made, and this was back in the 2012 season. In that season, Steph Curry set an NBA record of 272 three-pointers, and Klay Thompson followed closely with 211. Can you imagine two guys on one team with almost 500 three-pointers made in one NBA season? How can you even try to compete with this? Well, Steph and Clay answered this question in the 2016 season when they scored an outrageous 678 three-point shots between the two of them. Whenever my friends and I sit and talk about how great NBA players are, they always find an excuse about money. They always say that NBA players can afford to practice to be great because they're making millions of dollars to do this. I think that comment is disrespectful because if it were just up to money and practice, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson would be nowhere as great as they are now. There are many players in the NBA that practice just as much and make just as much money, but can't even begin to be as great a shooter as either Clay or Steph. These two men are special, special in ways that not even science can help us to understand. Steph Curry and Klay Thompson set a record for the most threes made in a quarter by any NBA duo. Earlier this season, the Milwaukee Bucks broke the record for the most three-pointers made in a game at 29. However, there weren't two players on that Milwaukee team that scored more three-pointers in any quarters of that game than the record set by Steph and Klay. Steph Curry and Klay Thompson scored eight three-pointers in quarters of multiple games. One was against the Washington Wizards on the 3rd of February, 2016. In that game, Stephen Curry set his personal record of three-pointers made by scoring seven of eight three-pointers in one quarter. 
Clay Thompson contributed to the total amount of three-pointers made in the quarter, with one of two from behind the arc. Even though the Splash Brothers broke the record of three-pointers made in a single quarter by an NBA team duo, this isn't the record for the most three-pointers made in a quarter, as Clay Thompson holds that record with nine. He scored 37 points in a quarter against the Sacramento Kings, as he hit nine of nine from behind the three-point line. Steph Curry and Klay Thompson also have the record for the most threes made in a half by an NBA duo. On the 1st of February in 2015, the Golden State Warriors went up against the Charlotte Hornets and defeated them with a score of 126 to 111. The Golden State Warriors did a lot of damage in the first half of the game, and most of this damage was done by the Splash Brothers and their ridiculous shooting from behind the three-point line. Steph Curry scored 10 three-pointers in the first half while Clay Thompson chipped in with five of nine from beyond the arc. I don't know what I would do if I was on the Charlotte Hornets, playing my heart out, only to see these guys dropping long-range bombs one after the other. Not to mention that the team also had a healthy Kevin Durant on their roster. Oh my God, that team tortured the other NBA franchises on a nightly basis. Teams had to not only prepare game plans for the Splash Brothers, but they also had to factor in the unstoppable force that was KD. But let's take a closer look at the numbers. Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson managed to hit 13 of 19 three-pointers in a half. Let me repeat that, 13 of 19. These guys took 19 three-pointers in a competitive NBA game and managed to miss six. This is beyond remarkable. Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry also set the record for the most three-pointers made by any duo in an NBA game in that same game against the Hornets. At the end of the game, Stephen Curry had 11 three-pointers while Klay Thompson finished with six. They were also very efficient from beyond the three-point line, as they combined for a total of 17 of 25. They only missed eight three-pointers after taking 25 in an entire NBA game. This is almost impossible for any other NBA team to do. Maybe the Portland Trailblazers with Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum, or the Brooklyn Nets with Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie could attempt to break this record, but it hasn't been done as of yet. So the Warriors, Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, remain remarkable in my book. These numbers by Steph and Clay aren't exactly average, but the mere fact that they were able to put them up in the first place is amazing in itself. Another record that the Splash Brothers hold is the record for being the winningest all-star selected backcourt duo of all time. Steph Curry and Clay Thompson rank number one when comparing the win total of any backcourt duo selected for an all-star team with a 50% win record. They achieved this in 2015 when both players were named starters at the all-star break. The other closest duo would be the Porter and Drexler of the 1991 Portland Trailblazers that had a 44% win mark at the All-Star break. Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry also own the record for the most seasons in which teammates ever shot at least 40% from behind the three, while attempting at least four three-pointers a game. They have at least three seasons in which they both shot above 40% from the three-point line, while shooting the qualifying amount of shots. If I was to put the qualifying mark one step higher, Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson also hold the record for teammates who both shot the ball above 40% from the three-point line while shooting five or more shots. They did this for two seasons, in 2012 and 2013. No other duo has managed to do this more than once. Long story short and sweet, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson are the best shooting backcourt to ever have played in the history of the game, and they still have more years left to play together, if they can both stay healthy.